Hello and welcome to our 13th video in the series on automotive sensors. In this series, we will explain the function and working of each automotive sensor in detail. Today we're going to dive deep into the world of intercooler temperature sensors. Whether you're a beginner or just curious, we'll keep it simple and easy to understand. We'll explore what they are, how they work, and why they are crucial for your vehicle's performance. See description for links to the playlist. Let's get started. First, let's understand what an intercooler temperature sensor is. This sensor measures the temperature of the air after it has passed through the intercooler. The intercooler is a crucial part of a turbocharged or supercharged engine as it cools the compressed air before it enters the engine. Now why is this sensor important? The intercooler temperature sensor helps the engine control unit or ECU, maintain the right air temperature for combustion. When the air is cooler, it is denser, which means more oxygen can enter the engine. This improves performance, fuel efficiency, and reduces the risk of knocking. If the sensor isn't working correctly, it can lead to overheating and engine damage. First, the intercooler temperature sensor is located at the outlet of the intercooler. This is where the compressed air exits after being cooled down. As the hot compressed air flows through the intercooler, the sensor measures its temperature. This is very important because cooler air is denser and has more oxygen, which helps the engine perform better. Once the sensor measures the temperature, it sends an electrical signal to the engine control unit, or ECU. This signal tells the ECU how hot the air is. The ECU receives this temperature information and processes it. If the temperature is too high, the ECU knows that adjustments are needed to cool the air more effectively. Based on the temperature reading, the ECU can adjust the fuel and air mixture going into the engine. This helps maintain optimal combustion and prevents engine knock. This process doesn't stop. The intercooler temperature sensor continuously measures the air temperature as the engine runs. This allows the ECU to make real-time adjustments for the best performance. There are mainly two types of intercooler temperature sensors. 1. Thermistor sensors. These change resistance based on temperature and are commonly used. 2. RTD sensors, resistance temperature detectors. These provide more precise measurements, but are less common in automotive applications. So how do you know if your intercooler temperature sensor is failing? Here are some signs. 1. If your car feels sluggish or lacks power, it could be a sign. 2. Check engine light comes on. 3. If your engine is overheating, the sensor might not be working properly. 4. If you notice strange temperature readings on your dashboard, that can indicate a problem. If you suspect your intercooler temperature sensor is faulty, you can test it yourself. Here's how. You'll need a multimeter and possibly a service manual for your vehicle. Find the intercooler temperature sensor near the intercooler. Carefully unplug the electrical connector from the sensor. Use the multimeter to measure the resistance of the sensor at different temperatures. Compare these readings with the specifications in your service manual. With the engine running, check the voltage output from the sensor. It should change with temperature. If your readings are outside the normal range, the sensor may need replacement. And that's it for today. We hope this video helped you understand the intercooler temperature sensor and its importance. In the next video, we'll be diving into the Lambda sensors. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments below. Click the link in the description to watch the full playlist on automotive sensors and continue learning more about your car. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more automotive tutorials. Thank you for watching, and drive safely.